Yeah, it kills everybody because they will continue our game called Return to Shiranagasu Island. Let's uh, go. Oh, wait. Phew, that was a very close call. The blood transfusion was a success, and Zakira appears to be out of danger. Kira, how are you feeling? My leg still hurts, but it's no longer numb. It looks like Ikeda's blood was the perfect antidote. I'm so happy. As much as I want to complain, but I won't. Thank you for saving my life. To be honest, I'm kind of used to being chastised. Anyway, I'm happy you're feeling better. Young lady, you're healed. Giselle, you're back. Did you manage to find any of the mansion staff? I'm sorry, I couldn't find anyone. I see, how strange. Anyway, I'm just glad that this is over. Ouch. You should lie down a little bit longer. I've always been a quick healer. Don't worry about me. Could you all leave me for a moment? Everyone except for Ikeda and Neneko. But young lady. It's okay, Giselle. Just wait outside with everyone else. As you wish, young lady. After everybody has left, Kira sighs deeply and leans against the wall. I'm still a bit shaky, so I'm leaning against the wall. I hope you don't mind. Of course that's okay. You want to know more about this island, right? Alright, I'll tell you everything I know. Are you sure? You might be targeted again by people from the mansion. I won't be threatened in silence anymore. Besides, I owe you my life, don't I? Listen, just accept this favor before I change my mind. Alright then, tell me what you know. The secret of Shiro Nagasu Island. What's the secret of Shiro Nagasu Island? To put it simply, there was illegal prostitution happening on Shiro Nagasu Island. Prostitution? On a solitary island in the middle of nowhere? That's rather unusual. <laughs> Reminds me of a certain island. What made it illegal? Were there minors involved? That's right. Not only child prostitution, but human trafficking as well. Oh boy, this definitely reminds me of some island somewhere in real life. I heard that many terrible things happened here. Such as? The girls who came here were given colored ribbons. The colors indicated how they could be treated. What the fuck? The colors were red, yellow, and blue. Girls with red ribbons were allowed to be killed. Oh shit, with impunity. Holy shit. Many girls with red ribbons were killed in this mansion by sadistic men. God damn it, and you're wearing a red ribbon right now. Just saying. Good grief, how terrible. I have a few questions. Ah, uh, I see. If illegal prostitution was really taking place here, where did all the girls disappear to? Who knows? Guess someone spilled the beans so they went out of business. They might have taken the girls away or even hidden them somewhere. I wonder if that's what happened to them. I have a bad feeling about this. Come to think of it, Jacob told me that there were fewer people than usual in the mansion. Maybe he was talking about the girls. I wonder where they are. They don't appear to be hiding any places on this island. Maybe there's a secret cave somehow. A secret cave, huh? Yeah. But why do you know all of this? This isn't something you can easily discover. Did you hear about it from your father? Stop bringing that man up. A friend of his told me. I think he was drunk at the time. He was very talkative. He kept going on about horrible acts as if he was enjoying my reactions. There are all kinds of scumbags in this world. He might have really enjoyed watching your reactions. I knew what he was trying to achieve, so I pretended to be as unresponsive as I could. I really wanted to throw up, however. He told me about some terrible torture someone had carried out, but he might have done it himself. He just knew too many details about it. God damn. Could you tell me more about this background? Sure, but I don't think it would be helpful. He was the second son of an ancient aristocratic family and a wealthy businessman, the CEO of his own company. His talkativeness was probably his downfall. He disappeared on this very island. He disappeared on this island. I don't know all of the details, but one day, he suddenly went crazy and disappeared. I think it was probably liquidated. In the eyes of the mansion, he was a traitor. Could this be the man Jacob mentioned? I see, it's no surprise he was liquidated. However, this man was no commoner. This means these people are willing to kill anyone. Prostitution, torture, 
Are those the only secrets of this island? Do you think that there is something else? I can't even imagine what it could be. In any case, this is all I've heard. It should be relatively easy to keep those secrets on this isolated island. Just can't understand why they would build all of these buildings here. Really, that's a good enough reason if you ask me. In business as well as in life, you don't get something for nothing. I don't know how much money prostitution and human trafficking made them, but they took considerable risk for it. If they were exposed, they would all be arrested. Besides, Sir Raymond was not someone who struggled financially. Something about this just doesn't feel right. There's definitely something more going on here. More secrets. I almost forgot about this. Akira, have you ever seen this IC card before? A card? Quarantine level 2, what a strange card. I think I've seen something similar, but it was different color. I believe it was a red card. Red? Neneko, could you give me the other card? Eh, do I really have to? Ugh. Neneko reluctantly takes out the card wrapped in a bundle of tissues. That's it, this is like the one I saw. I saw that man holding the exact same card. Why is it covered in soot? Oh, this was Thomas's card. Do you know where and how I can use it? No idea. I'd like to know myself. I could probably use this card to enter some kind of quarantine zone. I don't know where that could be, though. More secrets, please. Quarantine zone, huh? Huh, I wonder where it is. Well, I don't think I really want to see it, though. Why you came to this island? Come on, Akira. You promised me you would tell me what I need to know. Why did you come to this island? Okay, fine, I'll tell you. Kira sighs deeply and begins to talk. I wanted to see this place for myself. My father is a cold-blooded, merciless man who would never shed a tear. But he isn't the kind of man who would use the services of prostitutes. However, they say that everyone has more than one side, so you can never know for sure. That's why I had to see this place with my own eyes. And to see if there was something else here. You might forgive your father, is that what you're thinking? I will never forgive that man for what he did to my mother. Even when she was about to pass away, the only thing he cared about was work. He rarely showed his face at the hospital because he was still busy with his stupid work. Hmm. Maybe I just needed a reason to truly hate him. So that when I finally knew the truth, I could curse him without hesitation. I couldn't stand the fact that he was hiding something from me. That's all. I've told you everything I know. I only heard about the island from someone else. I don't know what's really going on here. This is more than sufficient. Thank you for your help, Akira. Something is definitely fishy here. Seems I really have to watch my back around the service from now on. Was Thomas killed by someone from the mansion? Is Sir Raymond the mastermind behind all of this? No, something just doesn't add up. At any rate, there's no turning back. I will do as much as I can. So we're done, right? This is all I can do to help anyway. Promise me that you'll take care of the situation and protect us. Can't guarantee anything, but I'll do my best. So I can't rely on you at all, can I? Oh well. By the way, Nanako. Eek. I thought you were trying to hide your ugly face behind that long hair, but I was mistaken. You're actually quite cute. <clears throat> But you're a little bit smelly. <laughs> when was the last time you had a bath? Even with beautiful hair and a pretty face, a bad smell will ruin everything. Come to my room later. I'll show you how to become a proper lady. Eh? <laughs> eh? It looks like Neneko is trying to decline Akira's offer, but she stutters so much that no one can understand what she's saying. Well, she does smell a bit. Plus, it might be good to let Akira give her a hint of femininity, as she doesn't appear to have any to begin with. <laughs> as I'm thinking that, we leave the communication room after many twists and turns. Sorry I kept you waiting, Giselle. We're all done. I am terribly sorry for my mistake, young lady. If I hadn't left my post at the door, this wouldn't have happened. Don't worry about it. I'm still alive, but be careful next time. The killer's still out there. Ouch. Are you alright, young lady? Please, lean on my shoulder. No need, Giselle. I can walk by myself. Goodbye, Mr. Detective. I'll see you later, Nanako. 
Despite the pain in her leg, Kara still tries to walk to the guest room building, hunched over and with a strange gait. Wah! What the heck? Don't surprise me like that. What's with the sudden scream? My chastity is in danger. <laughs> Akira's gonna violate me. Oh, you were thinking about Akira? Hey, don't worry. She's going to douse you with perfume and bring out your cute and fluffy side. That will make me want to die. <laughs> My nerves are not strong enough for that. Oh, really? Well, good luck and try to enjoy yourself. Help me, Ikara. You're my partner, aren't you? Help me. I don't want to die. <laughs> I drag Nanako, who is clinging to me, to the guest room building. If it isn't Mr. Ikara, you did a great job back there. Huh? Nanako, what's going on? You look so pale. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't mind her. What are you to do in here? Well, I noticed a strange smell coming from this empty room. A strange smell? From this room, huh? I lean toward the door of room 105, situated at the far right, and take a whiff. Although it is an old door, it is almost airtight, so it should contain most smells. However, when I press my nose against the keyhole, I can smell a strong stench wafting toward me. It smells really bad. It smells like blood and rotten meat. What should we do? Should we tell the mansion staff to open it? We can't trust them anymore. Besides, Giselle also said that she couldn't find any of them. It's okay. I can pick locks with this... One in my sleep. This door has a warded lock, just like all the other doors in this building. The security awareness of this place is rather low, but it's not so surprising considering that we're in the middle of the ocean. I begin to pick the door with my trusty lock pick. Warded locks are not very complex. All you have to do is rotate the lock pick while avoiding the obstacles on the inside. It takes me less than 30 seconds to pick the lock. Oh, that didn't take you long at all. Color me impressed. You make a great thief. Indeed. You haven't been using that skill for nefarious deeds, have you? Can you stop mocking me already? At least show me some gratitude. Try to ignore them and open the door. Another dead body? Hey, look at that. It does look like a dead body. As soon as the door opens, we are hit by a foul odor of putrid blood and rotten meat. Words cannot describe how awful fecal odors are. The strong smell makes everyone in the room hold their noses at the same time. Ah, what a terrible smell. The room is so dark that I can't see a thing. The switch doesn't work. There doesn't appear to be any electricity. This is eerie, but we must find out what is going on in here. Tap the bottom. There is an Isle of the Dead painting on the wall. It's a nice painting, unlike the room itself. There's nothing unusual. Given the situation, it does creep me out a little bit. Weak light barely shines through the windows. The weather outside is rough as always. I can barely see anything in this dimly lit room. Strong wind is shaking the windows. There's nothing unusual about the mirror. Looks like the light bulb has been removed from the lamp. It appears that this was done on purpose. I wonder why. The lights are off, but there's nothing unusual about the lamps. I should look at something else. There's a Louis Associé guidebook and a notepad, just like in all of the other rooms. Nothing unusual about it. There's nothing unusual about the sofa. Nothing special about it. The lights are up, but there's nothing unusual about the lamps. Nothing unusual about the phone. No, wait. There's some small bloodstains on it. Nothing else. I need to look at the phone again. Psst. Signal Riel to back off, then open the bathroom door. Oh, it's alright. There's nobody in here. Everyone behind me breathes a sigh of relief. Nothing unusual. The bed sheet is soaked in blood. There appears to be something underneath it. I should be careful. I should look elsewhere for now. What else am I missing here? Oh, what is this thing on the wall? <laughs> it looks like it appears to be human skin. Or more specifically, facial skin. Uh, excuse me for a moment. Alex runs out of the room with a pale face. It would actually be better if everyone went outside so that I could preserve this crime scene. I'm feeling a bit nauseous as well. Would you mind if I left? Hey, stay with me, Riel. You're the only doctor on this island. I already told you this, but I'm a physician. You have dissected the body before, haven't you? 
Yeah, I have, but dissecting a slaughtered corpse is a different story. Wait, have I ever dissected a slaughtered corpse before? I don't think I have. No, I haven't. You're the only person here capable of doing this. Hey, Nanako. Well, 10,009, 10,039, 10,061, 10,067, 10,069, 10,091, 10,093, 10,099. Nanako is mumbling and talking to herself, probably to escape from this horrible reality. I'm not exactly sure what she's counting, though. Prime numbers? Hey, I don't mind you counting numbers, but at least take a look around the room. Ikeda, that wasn't a nice thing to say. Why are you forcing Nanako to see this? She may look stupid, but she's actually a genius with a photographic memory. Her abilities can be very helpful at times. Wow, no wonder she knows so much about everything. But as a doctor, I can't really recommend letting a young girl see this. She might become traumatized. Well, it's not like I have a choice. She'll just have to hang in there. Good grief, maybe you're right. What can I say? I don't know what to say other than, hang in there, Nanako. 12,323, 12,329. <laughs> what else am I missing? I don't think this was an accident. Someone must have peeled this person's skin off. I wonder if whoever did this is the same person who killed Thomas. We don't know yet. However, our most pressing issue is identifying this corpse. You're right. But we were all together until recently, and I don't think that anyone has disappeared. So, who is this? No, there's one person who is missing. Uh, are you suggesting that? We'll probably know for sure when we pull the sheet back. Let's pull the sheet back, Rio. Alright. I'm not scared, I'm fine. Let's do it. Ugh. Oh boy. What a horrible spectacle. Hey, Nanako. Eek. Don't make me look at it. No, don't make me. Please, leave me alone. Don't worry, I won't force you to. This time. Go back to your room and be quiet. Ugh. Thank you. Nanako runs out of the room as fast as her feet can carry her, crying her eyes out. I think you made the right decision by letting her leave. Nanako would be scarred for life if she saw this corpse. I'm not a total merciless jerk, you know. No mercy for me, then. Or are you just trying to rattle my cage? I'll make it up to you somehow. I'm looking forward to that, Ikeda. Let's begin the post-mortem. Riel puts on her vinyl gloves and begins to examine the condition of the corpse. There are facial skin defects, binocular defects, and orbicular muscle defects on both eyes, seemingly caused by a sharp object, the nasal cartilage, and aurisol, are also damaged and part of the nasal bone is exposed. Many stab wounds are found on the orbicularis oculi, gingivia, teeth, hard palate, and tongue. I have seen these kinds of wounds on mouths before, they are similar to the wounds made by mercenaries and mafia during torture. They do this by sticking a knife into the mouth and then digging out the teeth, oh god. I really did not want to know about that but you might be right. Judging by the bleeding and wound conditions, these cuts were likely inflicted while the victim was still alive. His skin was peeled off and he was tortured alive, can't even fathom that. Whoever did this must have had quite a grudge against this person. The cut on the tongue is relatively shallow. This was probably done intentionally to avoid dying from suffocation and blood loss. The torturer wanted him to suffer as much as possible by keeping him alive. I've seen a lot of dead bodies before, but this is the most horrible one of them all. It makes me want to avert my eyes in disgust. So what do you think? Do you know who this is? His face has been deformed beyond recognition. We should look at the rest of the body. My thoughts exactly. I'll move on to the chest. Real gradually removes the sheet further, revealing the body's chest and abdomen. A deep cut that continues all the way down to the abdomen is visible in the center of the torso. Some of the victim's intestines can be seen protruding from a cavity in the abdomen. A strong writing smell permeates the air. The awful smell that fills the room appears to come from the abdomen. Although the clothes are badly damaged and bloodstained, you see that they once were a black tuxedo and a white shirt. 
There's a deep cut that runs from the chest to the abdomen. The chest is much more deeply cut, however, similar to a median sternotomy. Sternotomy? Sternotomy? I'm not sure. There are also several cuts marks between the breastbone and the costal... Costal? Costal cartilage. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? The heart is missing. It appears to have been removed. The heart? Real, from a medical point of view, how hard is it to remove someone's heart? Honestly, it would be a lot of work. To remove it, you would have to cut through the breastbone and the ribs or fix them in place and then disconnect and remove all the blood vessels connected to the heart. The heart is a vital organ. It can't be damaged easily. I didn't know that. I thought it was only a biological pump. The next time I see a heart, I'll give it my proper respects. However, because it takes a lot of effort to remove a heart, I don't think this is just a simple grudge. What happened to the other missing body parts is also a mystery. The only stripped part left in this room is the victim's peeled off facial skin. Where could the heart be? Were they thrown out the window, perhaps? It's possible, but why would the person who did this want to throw them away? Maybe they were a psychopath. Who knows what they're thinking? Huh? There's something inside the chest cavity. Ahem. Real strains her face and pushes her hand into the open chest. She removes a card from it. I found some sort of card where the heart once was. Real hands me the card, and I place it into a plastic bag. Because the card is covered in blood, it's difficult to make out what is written on it. I wipe the card. It says, Dan Raymond. As I expected, this is Sir Raymond's body. Oh, fucking shit. Really? Its physique is similar to that of the portrait of him that hangs at the entrance. We can't know for sure, but it's probably him. Maybe the killer wanted us to know who they killed, or this could be a trap. The card also says, Private Key. Could this be the key to Sir Raymond's living quarters? I can't believe that Sir Raymond has been murdered as well. Does this mean that the killer isn't someone from the mansion after all? It's too early to say. Real. What is the estimated time of death? Let me see, wait a minute. I'll check the rectal temperature. The shit should be very ready soon. After a while, Rio removes her thermometer from the corpse. The rectal temperature can be referenced with a sigmoid curve that eventually becomes the same as the room temperature. Based on the reading, I would say that he died approximately 12 hours ago. However, because his abdomen has been cut open, there might be some deviations. 12 hours ago, it's 2 p.m. right now, which means he was killed around 2 a.m. So someone asked him to come here around that time. Or maybe even earlier. I remember hearing strange moaning when we arrived on this island. Could that have been Sir Raymond? Perhaps he was asked to come here and was captured right after we arrived on the island. Even so, leaving his corpse here after killing him is a very bold move. Perhaps the killer only had time to capture Sir Raymond. Then they came back and tortured him later. But that means that anyone could have been the killer. Even the guests. However, Sir Raymond knew that there is a traitor in our midst. I don't think it would be easy to kill someone like him. Hey, Keta. This is all I can find out about the corpse for now. If you don't mind, I'd really like to get out of here. Yeah, thank you. You've been a great help. However, this means that our situation has gone from bad to worse. I think we should tell everyone about this. And we have to think about how we should deal with the mansion staff. Suddenly, the door is unexpectedly pulled open. What? Vincent? What? Vincent silently approaches the corpse on the bed and looks at it. I notice that one of his eyebrows is slightly twitching. Without saying a single word, Vincent storms out of the room. That gave me a fright. He just barged into the room and there was something strange about him. He didn't even say anything when he saw the body. It was certainly strange. When he saw Sir Raymond's body, he didn't appear to be surprised. I have a really bad feeling about this. Same here. Anyway, let's get out of here for now. This horrible stench will seep into our skins otherwise. You're right. I'll keep this room locked for now. I'm curious about Vincent's actions, but we should all stay silent and remain in our rooms for now. Yeah, I have a favor to ask. Could you inform everyone about this? Yeah, alright. And it would be better if you use the internal line. Right now, we still don't know who the killer is. It might be even one of the guests. I don't like this one bit. Alright, I'll be on my guard. I'll call you later. 
All right. See you later. Phew. I guess I should go back to my room as well. Darn. Gave my room key to Neneko. No answer. I guess Neneko isn't in my room. Could she have gone to Akira's room then? Forget it. I'll just pick the lock. Huh? Why are my lights on? And what's that sound? The sound appears to be coming from my bathroom. I should not forget what just happened. I'd better look around more here first. This appears to be someone who's been through with my suitcase. Still, I'm convinced someone has been inside my room. Nothing unusual about the bed, although it appears to be disturbed a little bit compared to this morning. Nothing major, though. Nothing unusual. Who turned on the lights? Then I could come back to my room. Bad feeling about this. Real hasn't called me yet. Investigating this situation is more important than waiting for a call, though. The sound doesn't appear to be coming from outside. So where is it coming from? My room doesn't appear to have been vandalized, but I see some strange footprints on the floor. Darn, this isn't good. Could it be that whoever killed Sir Raymond and Thomas is inside my bathroom? I have a bad feeling about this. Holding my gun, I open the bathroom door. Hmm? The sound is louder in here. Sounds like a shower echoing from the bathroom walls. I have a bad feeling about this. I should look around. What about the sink? There are some drops of water in here, which means it was recently used. The question is, by whom? What could be inside? The mirror is steamed up. Does it appear to be anything unusual about it? All this steam means that the hot water is constantly running in the bathroom. It appears that the sound is echoing in the bathroom. Can't see anything because of all the steam. Could someone be taking a bath without my permission? Nanako hates baths, so he can't be her. Besides, after everything that has happened, I can't imagine that a scaredy cat like her would dare take a bath alone. I don't hear a voice coming from inside. That means that someone isn't just taking a bath though. Something's definitely strange here. I should inspect my surroundings. I'm curious about what's happening in there, but I must first investigate my surroundings. The clothes basket. I want to take a peek to what's inside, but it's still close to the bathroom. My silhouette might be visible through the glass. I should enter the bathroom first. Guess I'll have to open the bathroom door. However, the door is very heavy and made of glass. If there's a criminal inside, they may attack me as soon as they notice the door opening. I'll have to open it carefully to avoid being seen. I crouch to get close to the glass door and gently push the handle. Oh, there you go. What the? Nanako and Akira are taking a bath together? But why are they in my bathroom? Did Akira mistake it for her own bathroom? They're also wasting hot water by letting it run like that. Quietly put the gun safety back on the holster. I'm just gonna put a sensor here just in case, even though it is censored, but just in case, you know, all that stuff, YouTube's shit. I quietly put the gun safety back on and holster it. But now I'm in an awkward position. I have to get out of here without them noticing me, or things will become rather complicated. However, as I try to remove the door, it doesn't seem to budge at all. Why is it stuck? Wait a minute, why am I trying to push a sliding door? Oh, how silly of me. Close it if I push hard enough, but that would make a lot of noise. Hey, Nanako, you've been silent for a while now. Why did you say something? It's not that simple. I can't. I, I can't talk. Why don't you try to relax a bit? I'm not going to eat you. Also, you're shaking so much. I could generate electricity from all that shaking. <laughs> uh, poor Nanako. Looks like she's in a tough spot. I don't know how they wound up like this, but Nanako doesn't seem to be enjoying this at all. <laughs> This is nice. Giselle never wants to take a bath with me. So I'm glad I get to do this with you. This is embarrassing, but I've wanted to do this for quite some time. I've been homeschooled since I was young, so I never get to meet girls my own age. Meet girls? Your hair is so pretty. Your skin is so smooth. You'll be so cute after I clean you from head to toe. I will make a woman out of you. You'll make a woman out of me? You've been acting a bit weird, Danico. But don't worry, I won't bite. Now, don't move too much so I could or I can't wash your back. Now don't move too much or I can't wash your back properly. Hey, don't touch me there. Uh, not there. Well, it sure looks like they're having a lot of fun. But there's no time for thinking like that. I need to find a way out of here right now. Should I close the door or should I leave it open? What should I do? 
Either way, we're gonna get fucked. So I close the door. When I pull the door, it makes a loud noise. There you go. Eek! Hey, sit still, will you? That was close. They didn't notice the noise because then it goes straight. Just when I was closing the door. I should make use of this and fully close the door. The phone begins to ring at the worst moment possible. Is that real? Real, please hang up. I'll call you back later. Oh, sounds like the phone is ringing. Huh? Ah. Uh. Oh no, they saw me. All clear, no sign of any enemies. <laughs> I will now proceed to clear the next room. Oh, where could that criminal have escaped to? What, is just you guys? I'm so sorry for interrupting you. Don't mind me and carry on. Hold it right there. Did you really think such a lousy performance could fool us? Eek! <laughs> Peeping Tom, how dare you spy on us while we're bathing? You pervert! It's all a misunderstanding. I will admit that I was sneaking a peek, but I really thought there was an enemy inside the bathroom. Besides, this is my bathroom. Why are you even here? The pervert dared to speak back at me. The door was clearly locked. Why did you still come in here? Did you pick it open? You obviously want to spy on us, you filthy scumbag. Caught between Skilla and Carb... <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Don't you look at me. No, wait, you've got it all wrong. Give me a chance to at least explain. Talk to the hand. I don't want to hear your pervert excuses. Now get the hell out of here. <laughs> you don't throw water at me. Ouch, it's piping hot. Oh, boy. Well, I guess I'm partly to blame. But I didn't intend to spy on them. Why doesn't she believe me? Darn. Anyway, I should get out of here ASAP. Who knows what Akira will do to me if I'm still here. I better get out of here quickly. Good grief, this is not my day. I'm soaking wet as well. Did she hang up the phone? Well, she's probably trying to call me again soon. Real, that was seriously bad timing. Oh, the phone is ringing again. I think she finally finished telling all the guests. Real, is that you? I don't have much time. I'll talk quickly. The voice at the other end sounds strange. It's too distorted so that I can't make out the identity of the caller, even if it's a man or a woman. Who is this? It doesn't matter. I heard that Sir Raymond is dead. Be very careful. As the administrator of this facility, Sir Raymond was the only one who held everyone in place. Some of the people from the mansion will start doing bad things if they find out that he's gone. The administrator? Who are you? Are you one of the guests? Are you someone from the mansion? I can tell you that I was covertly investigating the truth about this island for an organization. That's all I can say. Now just like you, I'm in imminent danger. I can no longer conceal myself. I was hoping to exchange information with you as much as possible so that we can overcome this situation together. This is why I made contact with you. I see. So you're a CIA agent or something like that? It's so convenient that I don't know your name. A code name is fine. What do I call you? Huh. You call me Wizards. Wizards? Alright, Wizards. I have a few questions I would like to ask you. About the killer. Do you have any idea who killed Thomas and Sir Raymond? The same person probably killed them. The killer is most likely one of the guests, not someone from the mansion. Huh? Jacob said something similar. How do you know that? People on this island are using operatives from different agencies to monitor each other. If someone had many suspicious moves, it would have been detected immediately. It is not easy to do anything with so many eyes watching your every move. Therefore, it is more likely that the killer is one of the guests. I see. But Sir Raymond was a pretty cautious man. He sent out invitations to several people to flush the traitor out. I don't think that it could be so easy to kill that kind of person. Perhaps one of them found a way to outsmart him. Is it possible that someone from the mansion is helping the killer? It is possible. Sir Raymond stood in the way of those who would want to use the island's research for their own purposes. Some people from the mansion could have been secretly colluding with the killer because of the alignment of interests. If so, did the mansion staff know who the killer is? I'm not sure. But now that Sir Raymond's murder has been discovered, the killer has outlived their usefulness. If someone from the mansion were behind all this, they would now eliminate the killer without hesitation. Of course, if the killer has a way to bargain for their life, that would change things. The killer was clever enough to manage to kill Sir Raymond. He or she most likely has a bargaining chip. I don't know what it could be, though. 
it's ironic, but the killer may be our lifeline right now. So you're saying that our lives are now in the hands of our killer? Isn't that ironic? Considering how Thomas and Sir Raymond were killed, I can say that the killer harbored a grudge against them so much. What are your thoughts on that? Hmm. This island was not just a base for prostitution, but the organ trade as well. Organ trading? Oh shit. This was extremely inhumane, as people were used for parts. Although the victims did not survive, the killer is likely someone connected to them. Or, or although this is unlikely, a client could have been driven mad by remorse. Organ trade? That's horrible. In any case, this is my educated guess about the killer. The trading of organs and prostitution are certainly inhumane, but they are only a part of this island's secret. The island was originally intended to be used for something else. Something else? What more about Sir Raymond? I would like to know more about Sir Raymond. What was his role on this island? Sir Raymond was a millionaire who was one of the facility's founders. He was responsible for planning the project. He was also the administrator who had jurisdiction over the island itself. Jurisdiction over the island? He was responsible for many inhumane things that went on this island. The facilities of this island were controlled and monitored by him. However, it is just an ostensible side. It is said that some government agencies were involved in the management of this place. Government involvement, huh? That's why Sir Raymond was so important to the agencies. If they knew he was killed, the agencies would not remain silent. But we can't make contact with them until the ship returns. Indeed, that's a current situation. It will likely take some time before the agencies realize what has happened. They will not make a move until then. Does that mean the killer has free reign until they are unmasked? Indeed. If any insiders from the mansion are assisting the killer, we could be in grave danger. We have to be on our guard. Betrayers might liquidate all of us to make their way easier. Well, isn't that just great? Be careful, Ikeda. Things have already become extremely dangerous. About Sir Raymond. Unfortunately, I've already told you everything I know. What I'm worried about now is whether his subordinates were really loyal to him or not. This is my intuition speaking, but there's something off about Vincent. Could he be the one pulling strings behind the scenes? It would be rather bad if he was our enemy. About the secret of this island. So, will you tell me now? What is happening on Chiranagoso Island? Alright. Prostitution, organ trade, all of these things have been taking place on Chiranagoso Island were just secondary activities. The real purpose of this island is the development of biological weapons. Biological weapons? On such a remote island in the ocean? You know about Guantanamo Bay, don't you? Oh, of course. It's a US military base built on the leasehold in Cuba. It is a blank site where national and international laws do not apply. There was a lot of outrage when terrorists in prison there were tortured. What about it? Most developed countries have humanitarian frameworks that they adhere to, so as a result of that, they will have many restrictions in place. But sometimes a nation needs to do something that runs counter to its laws. Guantanamo is a good example of that. Some less scrupulous countries have carried out several invasions of developed weapons without needing to adhere to humanitarian values. By doing so, they are eroding the position of countries that do strictly uphold humanitarian laws. Shiranagazo Island was set up as a way to bypass such humanitarian laws. This is the second black site built by the organization. A black site for the development of biological weapons. It goes against any humanitarian progress made in the last decennia. But not quite. The island is a necessary evil because it fulfills a need. At least, that's how they justify it. I see. So what kind of biological weapons are they developing? Unfortunately, I haven't discovered that yet. However, it appears to be a kind of research that requires a lot of human test subjects. Customized virus development or a kind of genetic manipulation of the human body itself. I see. It sounds like it will be a tough problem to deal with in any case. So what do you want me to do? I want you to discover what the weapon is and, if possible, prevent it from falling into the hands of the people from the mansion. It could be something as powerful as the nuclear weapons used during the Second World War. We must stop it from falling into the hands of an egotistical person at all costs. All of this is pretty amazing. And you're telling me to handle that all by myself? That's crazy. 
If we can get our hands on a weapon first, they won't be able to do anything to us. You can think of it as a kind of life insurance. I suddenly hear static coming from the phone. It seems that our time is up. I'll be in touch again soon. Hey, wait! Darn, they hung up. Why did ask some more things, but oh well. I still got a lot of information. If all of this is correct, we might not live to see another day unless I do something about it. Guess I'll have to do some hardcore investigating now. Perhaps I can also find a hidden communication device somewhere. I'm also worried about this biological weapon. If the people from the mansion are planning to use it, they'll have to be stopped. Ah. Uh. Hello? Ah, you finally picked up the phone. Hey, what's going on? Is everything alright? I was worried that something happened because your line was busy for a while. Hi, Riel. Now I'm fine, no problem. Have you been in touch with other guests? Not quite. I can't get in touch with Deniko and Akira. Were you happy to know where they are? They're alright. Those bratched through hot water. Never mind. They're in my room. Oh, that's a relief. I wanted to tell Riel about the conversation I just had, but it's too dangerous to talk about it on the phone. I should keep this quiet for now. We should be on our guard. We should stay together in a single place as much as possible. And we shouldn't trust the people from the mansion anymore. I think you're right. But there's nowhere else we can go on this isolated island. Yeah, we're in a tough spot. We have to play with the cards we are dealt. Whatever that means. I'll be in touch once I've taken care of things on my end. Be careful. You too, Riel. The card that was left inside the corpse by the killer. Was it left there to send me a message, or is it a trap? Alright, I guess I'll just have to accept their invitation. Oh, you're still here, you pervert. What is that bloodstained card? Why do you have such a thing? Ugh, gross. Nandiko, Akira, listen to me carefully. Sir Raymond is dead. We just found out that he has been murdered. It appears that he was already dead around 2 a.m. Sir Raymond has been murdered? You're only making things up, hoping that we'll forget about earlier, you scumbag. This is not a joke. There was a vacant room on the first floor, room 105. We found Sir Raymond's dead body in there. It is likely the handiwork of the same person who killed Thomas. Was that a dead body after all? I'm glad I didn't have to see it. And apparently the mansion staff can't be trusted either. I tell them what wizards told me earlier. The development of biological weapons? This is the first time I've heard about that. This card was hidden inside Sir Raymond's body. This might be the key to his living quarters. I'm going to use this sneak into Sir Raymond's living quarters. Do you really need to do that? And besides, it feels like it might be a trap. If we do nothing, things will get really bad. Even if it's dangerous, I'll still have to go. Neniko, Akira, it would be best if you stayed together with everyone else in the same place. You should also gather some food if you can. You made it sound as if there's nothing to be worried about. I'll be back. Keep an eye out for danger. Uh, wait a minute. Nandiko hands me a device that looks like a smartphone. I have modified it so that it can be used on this island. You probably can use it for sending and receiving calls and messages to my personal one one by the window. The device erases all messages after a set period of time, so any secret information can be... That's very helpful. This should come in handy, Nandiko. Uh, I think it will take some more time to analyze Thomas's card. Ikeda, oh, you appear to have forgotten, but um, I'm your partner, so let me tag along with you. Nanako, I appreciate that, but I can't allow you to come with me. Your strength is not physical, but mental. Use your brain to help everyone as much as possible. Don't talk to me as if you're gonna die. Akira, look after Nanako. Uh, sure, you don't need to tell me that. Um... You spying on us? I'll let it slide for now. Be careful, Ikeda. All right, I'll see you later. God damn it, this is getting intense, boys. I'm gonna end it here, though. I have to prepare for work, so this is Return to Shiro Nagaso Island. If you want to try the game for yourselves, the links are in the description. That is all for today. Stay safe and take care of yourselves. Holy shit, what is happening here? Why are there so many things happening on this goddamn island? Holy shit! Is this game telling us something? Do they know the secret of... That one island that shall not be named? Huh.